All right, we're gonna go to day number 15, and I'm also gonna open 16 today because I already know that's going to be a, a one, the last prop just because of the size of the of the of the door. But uh, let's go into number 15. Uh, if I can find the well, 15 is right there. I'm just trying to find the tab for the door. Under number 15, we have Munchlax. And there he is. Uh, this is uh, one of the um, the baby Pokemon. Yeah, I'm trying to remember if he's Gen 2 or 3. Uh, let's see, is the camera picking him up? Um, well, I have to get him a little closer to the camera. And again, we're having focusing issues. It seems like it only wants to focus on me. I should, yep, there it goes. All right, so Munchlax is the big eater Pokemon. And, um, well, I was wrong on the generation. This is actually Gen 4. And uh, Munchlax, um, like I said, is a baby Pokemon. Um, it will evolve into Snorlax when it is leveled up with high friendship. Now, uh, Munchlax... Um, Almost resembles Snorlax, but of course uh, much smaller, and its uh, ears are a lot more pointier um, than its full-grown counterpart. Yeah, it is um, unlike Snorlax. This is a hyperactive Pokemon. Now it does not mind walking or running from place to place uh, as it's looking for food, but it's usually slow moving. And uh, it usually stores food underneath its long fur, although it may forget that it has food uh, underneath uh, his fur. And he can eat almost anything, even if it's past its expiration date. Um, and it doesn't really care what it eats. So, so like I said, um, so yeah, Munchlax. Um, Pretty much uh, moves all over the place, to, um, but then when it gets to Snorlax, all it'll do is just sleep. Um, it's major. Um, it has a few major appearances. Uh, the main one is uh, the one that belongs to May. Uh, in the episode, very very interesting. She catches uh, Munchlax uh, after seeing how it liked her Poke Blocks. Uh, it is. Um, it's also the episode where it made its debut. It also appeared in Destiny Deoxys, uh, where it played a supporting role as uh, the comic relief for the movie. And it was the uh, first time a Gen 4 would appear uh, in the series. Uh, just um, quite a few minor appearances. Um, again, too many for me to list, but um, just uh, just a few of them. It did appear in Journey into the Un Unknown, Enter Galactic, uh, throwing the track switch. Um, but uh, that's pretty much all we have for Munchlax. That's pretty much all you need to, to know about him. But um, I think that's our only baby Pokemon uh, as far as uh, I can see here, yeah, everyone else is in their uh, stage one evolution forms. Or that or that they don't have any. And like I said, I'm just going to open up number 16 because I'm very sure that this is going to be... A, uh, this should be the very last prop in here. And judging by how it's caved in, now I know it is. If I can even get it back open... Yep, and there it is. Yes, yeah, so like I said, this should be the final prop of the whole box.
and I'm gonna put I'm starting to get used to putting these together now, but this one's um these yellow boxes. Okay, so how many Pokemon do we have out here now? Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten Pokemon. That's four over the limit I'm supposed to have. All right, so uh, that is it, and uh, I will uh, see you on uh, Thursday.